Hey guys, Jason here, and this is a tutorial on how to get this VHS video effect. While y'all know I love crispy quality videos, there's something special about this effect that kind of makes me feel melancholy and a little bit nostalgic no matter what video it's used with. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is hop into Vegas Pro, which is the video editor I've been using for a while now. Keep in mind though, what we're doing right now is the technical version of this tutorial. So skip to this timestamp right here if you don't want to have to deal with plugins and technical stuff or really any video editing at all. Anyway, once you're in Vegas, you're going to need to go ahead and import your video file first off. Right click on the file and disable resampling and then we can get started with the actual edit. In video properties, we're going to change the 3D mode to anaglyphic red cyan and save those changes. That allows us to add some color distortion and now we just drag the stereoscopic 3D adjust effects onto the video clip and change the horizontal offset to negative 0.004. The offset setting we just applied changes how much color separation or distortion is applied to our clip, so just tweak this to your liking. Next, drag the add noise effect onto your clip and add as much noise as you want or you're comfortable with. I'm gonna go with the setting that's on the screen right now and go ahead and apply that. The last thing you need to do is download the VHS text green screen template from the description below and lay that on top of your video. If you don't know how to do that, basically just download the video, import it and lay it on top of your existing video file. Then apply the chroma key effect to it, making sure to remove the green so you're left with just the text. Alright, so I know it's a lot, it is definitely a lengthy process, but if you made it through, then at this point we've got the effect done and locked in in all its aesthetic glory. But there are some optional steps to kind of enhance the VCR effect. So the first one is to head over to Defont or DA Font, still don't know how to pronounce the name, .com, and basically just pick out this VCR mono font if you want to add in your own text in that aesthetic VCR style. And if you want a bit of aesthetic distortion at the beginning of your clip before the actual video or image pops up, then you can download that from the description below as well. And just drop it into your video project like so. So that's it for this customizable VHS effect for nerds, but if you wanted to record with or edit videos with this effect and you're an average person, I'm going to drop two apps down below you should definitely check out. The second offers some really cool VHS style effects for post-processing and putting on top of videos you've already taken. And the first is definitely the nicer of the two. It's, it's a simulator of a VHS style camera, basically for taking VHS style video with your phone camera. And with this app, the effect is actually top notch and the whole experience is executed really well. So definitely check out both those guys down below. Anyway, besides that, thanks for being on my channel here today for this chill aesthetic honestly kind of hold over video if I'm being honest. Uh, hopefully you found it useful. Drop me a like or a subscribe down below if you did. I really appreciate that. And also don't forget to check out this effect on my Instagram feed because I actually used it to accompany, let's just say a project that I've been working on for a while and you should definitely look at it on my Instagram and like it if you like it. Anyway, thanks for being here and I will see you in the next video. Hey yo, vintage aesthetic VHS effect check. This is the app that I showed you guys how to use, just finished the video on how to get this effect the complicated nerd way or the easy just use this app way. This is actually the app right now and I'm going to get that out of my face because it makes the acne look horrible for some reason. Anyway, here's the setup I was using. There's a script tape right there. I don't usually go off it completely, of course. The light, the camera, the mic, and just like a real VHS, this thing has a time limit and it looks like I'm running out of tape. So uh, y'all have a good rest of your day, right?